I need somebody to explain to me why anybody would buy an Xbox One. It's more expensive for weaker hardware. It has inferior multiplats and most of the exclusives it has, well, they turn into multiplats. Don't believe me? Titanfall. Don't believe me? Dead Frame Rate 3. Don't believe me? Oh wait, Rise Son of Rome, now coming to the PC. Crytek's Xbox One launch title Rise will be released on the PC later this year featuring 4K resolution support and DLC included. Hmm, interesting. 4K resolution support. You hear that, Predators? You hear that, you um, morons that have these mythological 12K PCs which you refuse to play on 4K because for some dumb reason you feel like an Xbox One can? <laughs> Hilarious. So, Crytek goes on to say, we are bringing Rise to the PC with 4K support, and their business development, Carl Jones, said in a statement that 4K gaming is another leap in graphics quality for PC gamers, and Rise is a perfect showcase for what's now possible in high-end PC games. Not Xbox One, but PC. They went on to say that, you know, Rise is going to be a benchmark PC graphic showcase, and judging by how crappy the game is and how it was a showcase on the Xbox One, you know damn well with Crytek and 4K and all that other technology they'll be using, it will be a showcase on the PC. People will probably buy this game hmm, just to benchmark it, but it just begs the question, man. What is Microsoft doing? They can't keep it exclusive. They can't sell consoles. I mean, they can't even outsell the Wii, and here we are going to have legions of morons who can't understand the concept of exclusive and multiplat. What does multiplat mean? Because a lot of people keep saying, oh, if it's on the PC and another console, then it's not multiplat. Multiplat is short for multiple platforms. Multiple platforms would be more than one. So if you can get the game on multiple platforms, as in Rise, I can get on an Xbox One or a PC, then guess what, people? The game is not exclusive. Deal with it. The end. There is no argument. There is no disputing it. It is what it is. In the end, all it really is is another reason not to buy an Xbox One and another reason not to put faith in a console which Quantum Break and Loco Roco or whatever bullcrap they have on this machine will eventually go to another platform, most likely the PC.